So the role that I'm currently in as the Acting Provincial Director is I get to lead a team of professionals who provide service to citizens. So when COVID-19 hit, our world as we know changed. What Service BC, our team stepped up and continued to work through the pandemic. So one of the things that we did was um, order supplies and PPE. In Service BC, the expectations of a leader are pretty high. What makes Jacob unique is his servant leadership. At the very beginning of the pandemic, we knew that having a plastic barrier would help our teams to maintain themselves safe and our community safe. We didn't know what was happening. We didn't have all the information that we needed at the time. And Jacob, during the weekend, he made sure to get all the materials that he needed to make sure that his team, as of 8.30 a.m., they were coming into our work site where they had polyplastic between them and the citizens. So Jacob is a risk taker. He's innovative. He shows that it's okay to question the why and come up with something better. Uh, since he started with Service BC, there's been many examples where he's brought forward unique ideas, ideas that didn't seem possible. And he's really good at setting a clear goal and steps to achieving those goals. And he's always there for support. The biggest influence in my life was my dad, Peter. He taught me that no matter the situation that you're in, it's an opportunity to do the best that you can and to love everybody around you. And just put into me that basis and that belief that everybody has so much potential in them. And it's just how you interact and, and treat them each and every time. What makes Jacob an emerging leader in the public service is his genuine desire to lead people through their purpose, through the reason why they're here to make those connections, to help them understand where they sit in the line of sight, how he's able to support his teams, how he's able to relate to his teams, and the productivity levels that he's able to drive within his area. At Service BC, we have a, a motto that said we provide service with heart. When my son was 18 months old, he was diagnosed with cancer. It's called retinoblastoma. And when we found it, the only option was to take his eye out. But through that, it was just another opportunity to go, hey, life is short, just love everybody. And all of these situations through it, I've learned to be a leader who loves and is compassionate. It's about living life to the fullest.